This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. This is Monster in My Podcast. And these are Brownies. There's a monster in my podcast. Brownies. Oh, Look at that picture. I... It's me. <laughs> hey, guys. It's me. Hello. I'm shitty. I'm pointless. Oh, I, as you, uh, you texted me about that similar to <laughs> broken one, uh, the broken one, uh, dome scandal. When I was telling you about broken ones are so good. You were texting me and you were like, brownies are so fucking pointless. The next episode, we're getting to something that is a thousand times more pointless. Oh, than sure. The I, <laughs> like, like the brownie is pointless, but on the pointlessness scale of dungeons and dragon monsters, like this guy is not but even I, up there. I think that this guy, I think the brownies are still beyond the line in the sand for pointlessness though. Like there okay. is relative pointlessness. Like I also fucking hate bugbears, but yeah, bugbears are worse, I think. Yeah. But I, I, I really don't like brownies at all. I, I, uh, yeah, so well, here, get the, let out the poison, buddy. Uh, it just they're just like shitty little halfling elves, like they're okay. they're they're fucking house gnomes, is what they are. I don't know why they have to be different creatures. Like I like their ecology, but they're like fucking uh, they're like little Germanic gnome uh things that like they're fascinated by farm life, and maybe they'll they'll do chores for you, but like if they milk your cows for you, they'll take some of it for themselves. Yeah, they skim a little off the skim. Yeah, they're gleaners. Yeah. And it's like, it, that's fine, but like, that sounds like something I'd learn up in Frankenmuth in fucking Michigan at like some kind of German town, you know? Frankenmuth. Oh, yeah. Um, Frankenmuth. It's fun for the whole family. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a German town. No, just like, oh. like, uh, just like take this, take this wholesale and then like paste it into, like, take this description wholesale, paste it yep. into the King of the Hill episode about gnomes. Okay. And that's yeah. like, that, that's what these things are. I like. I mean, the counter I would have to that okay. is that like these are based on actual mythological things, right? Understood. There are brownies. They're like little help, and it also is the uh, what is it the the cobbler's <laughs> assistant or what have you, like the that that story. Yeah, you yeah. know. So this is just like they they most mythological things are covered in the D and D world. Like we run into sphinxes and shit. Uh, so it makes sense for me to 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 have the cobbler's assistant show up the helpful little little guys. But like how many uh, how many D&D campaigns are run where you're playing as a farmer? It's not like Harvest <laughs> Moon second edition. You know, this time the like, cows are more spherical. Well, like, oh, man, cow, cow beholders. Like, <laughs> cow yeah. Holders. The, the, yeah, just, just the, the cow pattern and you just milk the beholder. The, bo- yes, the bovoculus. Yes. yes. This genius appreciates this. Shoots milk rates. <laughs> <laughs> sorry it came out of my body i apologize for how warm it is <laughs> like ah uh, <laughs> yeah. that's it will uh, never not be sorry. funny yeah so, yeah so these guys I, I i mean it's not gonna come up with adventures but you'd have like hooks right like you'd have like um uh like some guy uh you know he starts making a lot of money because his shoes are always really high quality um he doesn't know this but brownies are fixing up his shoes at night he enjoys it for a little while, but he draws this competition, and then uh, some guy plots to murder him because he's driving him out of business, and the guy doesn't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's there's hooks you could do with brownies. Um, I don't I don't I don't love them, right? Like I'm not way into brownies. I'm just I'm I'm okay with brownies. I think the ecology thing says the best. Brownies are basically vegetarians who <laughs> <laughs> live very comfortably on the gleanings of agricultural life. Yeah, like they, they're inoffensive, like they're bland. Oh yeah, that, and that, that's my problem with them. Like, like in a yeah. book full of interesting ideas, bland is so bad. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, I maybe bland is. So I don't think they're like that uninteresting. What they do, I think they're unin. They're not badass. I guess is more what I mean. Like, there's nothing like you wouldn't get like a cool temporary tattoo of a brownie, <laughs> and if you do, you should get your arm broke by a bully. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a nurse shark. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and and it is like whoever wrote this really likes them you you can tell tell the writing it's like the kind of person who owns like lots of little mystical gnomes and green men and stuff in their garden and and just like actually kind of believes in gnomes (laughs) like you run into those like 40 year old ladies dandelion tea for them yeah yeah whoa (laughs) you know like run um you know and the whoever wrote this is like that because this is like written by a brownie (laughs) <laughs> like it is very aggrandizing the brownie yeah i also like, think it's weird that there's it's a social faux pas to be like hey man my house got brownies and as soon as <laughs> you do that they get yeah. out yeah they're like whoa <laughs> they blew up my spot <laughs> we gotta we gotta jump i i feel like the the kill kill moolis uh which are, are the which are the other things here uh those are even worse are, but there's nothing different about them they're just smaller <laughs> they're half height yeah, yeah, but like, they still live in a symbiotic relationship with humans yeah, they're pretty much brownies, but smaller. If you want the brownies to be like the littles instead of like uh, 
I had like a horrifying house, like just because the regular brownies are 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 well, so they're two inches tall, right? Well, they're, or they're two two feet, two feet, yeah, yeah, two feet tall. So it's weird that they hide in your house and and live there and like so think of them in those terms, Cole. Like <laughs> these guys have to. It's like being trapped in the mall overnight. <laughs> <laughs> for these guys 24 7 like they have to find a way to live in the the margins of your life they would be more interesting to me if they were two inches tall that would be that would be the littles <laughs> no, like that old cartoon yeah they'd be um, the borrowers i want some borrowers is what i want the, this is essentially the fact that they're two feet tall makes me like them again because it'd be <laughs> so weird like you're just like walking through and there's here it'd be like mr mime like oh here's just a person who's like living <laughs> in my house milking my it's like a, it's like wife. A, it, it's a baby with adult proportions <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, did you say milking my wife? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I just wanted to rewind <laughs> yeah, that. Thank you. I was hoping to slip that in there. But... <laughs> I got caught. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.